to what they do fame master los here live and direct and today he really wanted to cut it off i believe this he's serious he wanted to cut it off i'm gonna go ahead and show you the proper procedure when you're cutting someone's dreads off but before i go make sure you click that like that comment and also mm, subscribe it's fame master los here live and direct let's interested in any of the tools that you see in this video click the link down below the best tools you can get let's not waste no time step number one let's go ahead and proceed to take the shears and begin cutting those dreads now for me i typically like to store all the dreads together i don't like to just let them drop straight on the floor that's just preference for me i feel like when a person has been growing their hair for such a long time kind of want to just kind of be a little neat with it keep it possibly give it to them in a plastic bag notice how i fully pull the dread as i cut it to kind of leave all the new growth that he still has so we could still give him somewhat of a style haircut now, I've seen some people just go straight in with clippers and just cut it straight all the way off, but I don't necessarily recommend that. Next, once you cut all the dreads off, I like to take them to the wash, the shampoo, because there's typically a lot of buildup once a person had dreads for a lot of years. So we're going to take our shampoo first. We're going to shampoo his head, get all the way to the scalp, try to get any hair that was missed and give him um, a conditioner next. And as you can see, we're drying them off and we take them back to the chair so we can proceed on the haircut. Now, I know those steps might seem simple to some, but that is a very proper procedure when cutting someone's dress. You're gonna take the shears first, not the clippers. Then you're gonna give them a good wash and then condition their hair to get it back to that right pH balance. And the third step, the final step before cutting is to take a blow dryer and a pick and begin to pick out any hair that might have not been combed or might have not been cut, making sure that the clippers have free motion when you begin to cut. Now, I'm going to show you what this cut looks like, but I'm not going to describe how I did the cut. I really just wanted to give the proper procedures as it refers to cutting someone's dreads off. I don't want to see barbers just jump straight into it with the clippers and not really giving them justice. This is supposed to be an experience because people have been growing their hair for a long time. So when they get that fresh cut, it's a must that you give them a wash. But we're going to jump straight through it. But I just appreciate y'all for watching and checking it out. Y'all going to see how this cut turned out. If this video helped you, make sure you click that like. Also, go ahead and click subscribe while you're right there. It's real close. But it's Fade Master Los. I appreciate you for watching. Stay tuned for my next one. Fade Master Los here, live and direct.